Okay, so I have been playing around with different wig restoration, you know, tangling things. I've been trying different products, different techniques, and I've been doing this for quite a while. So a, a subscriber of mine brought to my attention a method that people are basically saying you can make your synthetic wig tangle free forever. Okay, so you know me, I did a lot of research, I looked into it, I watched multiple different videos, and I want to show you the technique and show you how to do it and all that, and the tutorial will be after this, but I want to just give my two cents about it. I think the technique is great. I think that it does work to help reduce uh, tangling, and in some cases by a lot. I do not think that this is a you do this method and your wig will never tangle and it doesn't matter what wig it is or what fibers or what quality. I don't find that to be true. I do find that this is a method that I have been using when I'm restoring wigs. It's also a method that I've been using in um, some of my own wigs that I think will dramatically reduce your tangling. But I just don't... This is my personal opinion. I don't think this is like you do this and you're never going to have tangling. It is a synthetic wig. I mean, it's just like bio hair. It will tangle at some point. So I think this is definitely a technique to use to sort of uh, keep on the maintenance, to, to reduce tangling, but nothing is going to 100% get rid of the tangling. It's just not. So I think this coupled with a maintenance routine of, you know, making sure your wigs are combed out after you use them, storing them on like a wig head or a foam wig head or in the packaging or something, regular cleaning, regular trimming if necessary. I think all of these things combined are going to really extend the longevity of your synthetic wigs by a lot. Yeah, so that is what I have done. I have done my research. This is what I have found. I have tried this technique on a multitude of different types of wigs. I've gotten amazing results with some wigs and, you know, not so great results with others, especially wigs that were cheap and crappy to begin with, to be honest with you. But I wanted to try it on, you know, all the way down from like a, a, a cosplay sort of Amazon type wig all the way up to a name brand wig. I have tried it on all of these different ones and this is what my two cents is. Okay. Okay, so let's get to the tutorial. I will be doing a voiceover. And so yeah, if you like these types of videos and you wanna see more, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If there's another topic that you would like me to do in this sort of style, sort of I'm voiceover tutorial, then um, let me know down below. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you have, thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, so I started with this wig. I've already basically restored it and she's all combed out and everything like that. So I'm gonna start sectioning this off and I'm gonna clip it up. Once she's clipped up and I've made sure that, you know, I brushed her through a little bit, I'm gonna take a professional scissors set and use these sort of thinning shears. They look like this with the little teeth and I'm gonna utilize them. I have a full review on the set that I'm using and I'm gonna take little sections of the hair and what I'm gonna do is sort of make uh, several cuts depending on how long the wig is and this is a straight wig it's probably like 16 18 inches so i'm gonna make three cuts you know i'm taking this small section cut 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 and i'm gonna do that throughout basically the entirety of the wig taking small sections at a time and doing these strategic cuts so that i am essentially making it so when you run your hands through the fibers like don't get caught People use this technique obviously to thin as well because these are, you know, thinning shears. And using this Revlon wig brush that with the wire, I've said spokes, with the wire bristles, I'm running through what I just did all those cuts on just to get all of those loose hairs that I just cut. And then going through and coming through, making sure it's detangled. And look, you can see my hands run right through it. No issues, no problems. I essentially, we're just going to go through this entire wig and do the same thing. And then at the end, I will show you the end results. So, yeah.
yeah so there you go I'm getting the last of the hair out with this metal bristled brush and I'm look it just pull your hands right through so that's the technique uh, if you like this type of video please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video